and this video will hook up all the electrical. Um, under this rubber booth there's two fittings here, two plastic fittings and there's one here. We're going to do those first. And over here, right by the, the pull start handle comes out, there's a cable with uh, an, another plastic fitting and two wires, a black wire and a yellow wire. Okay. The black wire is ignition and the yellow is the lights. And also, on this side, under the cover that says CDI, there's another cable coming out with two wires hooked up to it also. Now, you don't put those two together like this. What you do is you take these two wires, you put them under the frame, and you'll hook them into the two connectors that come out under this boot. Okay, this plastic uh, fitting here is for the CDI. And this is the CDI. Okay, and this is the CDI hanger, and it'll hang from this bracket right here. Alright, those connections are made. Next we can put the coil on. And this is the coil here. And it's um, secured by these two screws with the washers, and these washers don't come off. Okay, we'll screw it onto here. Um, the green wire will go under one of the w screws. It's the ground wire, and the black wire will slide over here. And you might clean all these up really good. Next is a spark plug. The 81 and older use the uh, NGK. D8HS or HA and you'll take the, if, if it has a tip on it you'll take that off it'll be you use a small tip. The 82 and newer I don't know why they changed an 82 but for some reason 82 uses a different size it's the um, NGKR it's resistor DR8HS. Well we have all the electrical hooked up now for the engine to run. Uh, we don't have any way to turn it off yet. And that's done by the wire that comes out of the side of the frame and it, it'll go into the headlight uh, housing, headlight shell. But um, w the way we get this engine stopped is you want to take this black wire here and we're going to ground it. Okay? Uh, and there's a green wire in here that's ground so you could connect those two wires together or ground this to the frame that would stop. Or you could use a switch. This is the switch that was used up through 1981. In 82 they went to a different type of switch, but it's the same idea. The middle position is run and the left or the right is off. Kind of like a panic situation. You just turn it some way and it'll turn off. Okay, and out of the end of the wire there's the black and the green. The green is ground, so you hook the black up to the black and the green to the green and then um, you turn the switch on to make the connection it'll ground them out. and That'll stop your engine. We'll put this on later because this goes inside the headlight frame and I have to put the frame on next. Next we're going to do the headlight. And I have it here all torn down, or almost completely torn down. I didn't take this part off because I was afraid I'd break these little tabs off. These three little tabs, that, you know, after all they're 35 years old. So um, This is uh, a 1981. This is the first year they went to the uh, plastic headlight case. Before that they had the uh, round metal ones. Um, it still has the uh, the switch on top. And the next year, in 82, they went to the switch on the handlebars. So this is the only year they actually made this case. And as you can see, this one is broken. It broke here in the back, which is pretty common. A little tab broke off. And someone has fixed it. They used a piece of plumber's tape. And that'll work fine because when it's mounted, it'll be down, and the light will be in the front, so no one's going to see it. The first thing we're going to install is um, the headlight switch, and it just pushes in. There's there's a, a little tab here that goes into a slot on the switch, so we just feed this through. You feed this through and um, and push it in. All right, the switch is installed now. It has a off and a low and a high beam position. This one seems to work really good. And these other parts down here are going to be used to attach the uh, the headlight case to the uh, forks. This part here will go under on one side here to hold the, uh, the wires in place. All right. 
Next we'll install the uh, headlight into the uh, frame or the bezel and the he headlight will go in from the back. This is the bottom here. And the top part has a little little tab here and also on this one anyway it says top on the, on the, on the glass. So it will go in here and it will be secured with these little with these little uh, clips. The clips will go this way. The middle part will go under the uh, the headlight and these two ends will go under the ledge. There's four of them. Okay, here it is with the tabs on. Next we can do the uh, the light bulb and you'll see inside there there's two filaments, a high and a low beam and um, to take them out you just do that. And it'll only go in one way so you have to kind of look and see how it goes in. So to put it in here, you just turn it here and just give it a little twist and that's in. Okay, now we're ready to install the headlight into the forks. Okay, here we are at the front of the ETC and we're ready to install the uh, this headlight shell. Okay, and it'll be installed with this uh, bolt, lock washer and washer, and this special nut and on one side we'll put this wire holder. Next we'll feed the wire that comes out of the side of the frame, this wiring harness, through the hole in the back of the uh, headlight frame. Okay, you see there's four wires here. A black, a green, a brown, and a yellow. Well, The yellow is the, uh, the lights coming from the magneto. And we'll plug that into the yellow of the switch. So we'll have a yellow going into the switch, then we'll have three wires coming out. The brown wire for the tail lights, that'll go into the brown wire back in this wiring harness. And then there's a, a blue and a white wire, they'll go to the light bulb. Now we're ready for the ignition switch, or the kill button. And it's, it's attached to here, and there's a, um, a green and a black wire coming out of it. Okay. We'll feed that through the hole in the back of the frame too. And then we'll attach it to the green and black wire coming out of the wiring harness. The other end will be attached to the handlebars. Next we'll wire up the headlight bulb itself. Okay, there's um, the blue and white wire, they'll go into the blue and white wire of the switch and then there's this green wire, it'll go into the green wire of the wiring harness. So it's, it's a special connection, it allows, there'll be two green wires in there. And then after we wire them up then we'll tuck the wires away under this um, fastener on the side. All the wires are attached now so we'll just go ahead and hook it under here on the top and then we'll screw the bottom on with this um, screw, lock washer, and nut. And here it is. We'll do the uh, tail light next. Now we're going to do the tail light and the grab bar. To start off with, we'll put this tail light socket into the, um, the, the housing, the tail light housing. And this little tab here will go into the, uh, the slot. All right, we'll put it in the back and then you'll push this rubber part through. Now we'll put the light bulb into the uh, into its socket, okay? And you notice the socket is sticking out a little bit. All right, now we can uh, we can pull the wire and seat it back in there into the rubber thing. And we'll <coughs> we'll turn this uh, boot upside. We'll turn this boot right side out again and, um, and slide it down there. Now this gasket will go on the, uh, the taillight housing and it goes on from the back. And you put the housing inside the, the slot in the gasket.
All right, the gasket's on. Next, we get these two parts here, and they'll go on these in the slots on the uh, on the uh, grab bar. Now we can put the tail head on the grab bar, so it'll go on like this. We'll put the long screw in. Okay. Then, then we'll put this on, and it'll be followed by the washer, lock nut, and nut. All right, the tail light's on now, and. Uh, now we can install the grab bar. There's this long bolt, there's a nut on it, and then there's, there's these two rubber things that um, the seat rides on. And we also have a bolt and a washer, and they'll go through the bottom hole on the uh, grab bar on each side. Now we can make the electrical connections. Um, coming out of the light, there's a green and a brown wire. And there's a green and brown wire coming out of the uh, the wiring harness. The brown one's from the headlight frame. And just connect them up. That concludes this video. So if you made it this far, thank you for watching.